game. But, like, there were so many people online and playing it that I just did not understand it at all. Like, I don't know, like, to me, that was of a weird game. Like, I just couldn't really get into it, you know, like, I just couldn't get a feel for it and all that. I mean, obviously, I'm completely new. Oops, I don't know why I tried to leave the village there. But, yeah, like, obviously, I'm completely new to MMOs, so, you know, if you guys know any good ones, then please, by all means, recommend them, and I'll give them a look. You know, like, they can be um, pay-to-play, as long as it's, like, not a hefty subscription fee and all that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, like, yeah, I, I basically... Oh, why the bloody hell is dagger? Oh, yeah, oh, she's in the bloody shop, isn't she? Now, see, that just proves how long it's been since I've actually played this game. I can't remember anything that's going on. Alright, um, so we'll go to the shop, we'll speak to Dark here. Uh, we'll rescue Vivi. Uh, we'll go to Lindblom. Yeah, seems like a plan. So, yeah, that's the plan for this. But, um, oh, I've completely lost my train of thought now. I have completely and utterly lost my train of thought. Um, I know I was on about MMOs. I can't remember where I left off on though. Um, okay, this is quite embarrassing. Like, I start a topic, then I slightly come off that topic for maybe around 30 seconds, and then gone. Just like that, you know, like, I completely have no memory of it. So, no oh well. But, um, MMOs, yeah. So basically, like, obviously, if you know some good ones, recommend them. Um, I'll give them a try, you know? But, um, basically, like, I tried a few different ones, and, well, to be honest, like, I, I didn't really get into them. I mean, you know, like, none of the ones I tried really appealed to me, because it was either clunky, or, like, it was clunky or in good graphics, or it was, like, good gameplay, but absolutely horrendous graphics and things like that. So, you know, like, basically... I also want a good gameplay, but at the same time, I'm not going to play something that, you know, it looks like, um, well, I, I don't really know how to describe it, um, but basically, you know, like, I, I want a balance of the two, I mean, obviously more favoured in gameplay, but it still needs to have that balance, so, alright, uh, where the bloody hell is that guy? Oh, okay, so I hadn't been in the shop to her. Oh well. But, um, yeah, like, so, from the MMOs, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I just couldn't really get into the ones I tried. I mean, obviously, there are a lot I haven't tried, but those ones, they just didn't appeal to me, so I pretty much stuck it out on Diablo. You know, I started out with a wizard, I got that out to level 6, and then I thought, uh, you know, mm, not really all that great. So, um, from there I went to a bob, uh, well, a barbarian, a bob, and even though I, like, I was, like, replaying the entire story and all that over again to level up so I could get into Inferno and do all the heavy grinding for Paragon levels, like... I don't know, it, it just didn't bore me, you know, which I, I still quite enjoyed it to be honest, you know, like, even though it was grinding and all that sort of stuff, like, I think basically with the addition of the auction house, like, that made it better. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So, basically, like, obviously, I was trying to grind to find the rare legendary items and... Like, all that sort of stuff, so I could stick them on the auction now, sell for a couple hundred mil gold, fully buff my character up, you know, like, get the best gear going, and all that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, like, I haven't really found anything too amazing yet, even though I've already stuck, like, a hundred hours into it. But, you know, like, it doesn't really matter. I've got, like, 100k DPS on my bob. Well, 150k unbuffed. And then about 400k buffed. So, 
my barber is definitely quite strong, but lately I've started, like, leveling a monk up and that, you know, solely because, well, obviously, you know, in all sorts of RPGs and things like that, you know, you've got the wizard, you know, you've got the mages and all that, and then you've got the strong physical character and all that, but really, I, ne I don't think I've ever played an RPG that's had a character like the monk or the demon hunter or the witch doctor. So what I think I'm going to do is, you know, like, get them all up to level 60. I mean, I, I probably, well, I probably won't get them all to level 60. I think I'll probably just stop at the monk and then do hardcore. In fact, yeah, that actually brings up a, a good topic. Me and a friend are actually going to be doing hardcore Diablo 3, you know, from start to finish, level 1 to level 60. Act 1, Mission 1, up to the very end of Diablo and Inferno. So, we'll be going through all four acts on all four difficulties. It may turn out to be a little long, because, obviously, you know, like, we'd have to really buff up defense and HP and all that sort of stuff, because on hardcore mode, if you die, then that character's dead for good. You know, like, there's no continue, there's no extra life on hardcore which, actually, you know, I, I don't really know of any other games that do that, so that was, like, a really nice little twist. So, I, like, I've never really done hardcore, so I, I think it's going to be enjoyable, you know? Well, obviously, the first difficulty, normal, that's not going to be a problem, you know? Like, me and Ryan, my friend, who's going to basically do it with me, like, we'll pretty much plow through it on normal. Uh, nightmare, yeah, it probably won't be difficult. The real challenge will start at Hal and Inferno, where we really have to be careful around, like, elites and bosses and all that sort of stuff. So, but yeah, that's basically the plan for Diablo. We will be recording it, and, well, at the moment I'm a little iffy on whether or not I should live stream it. You know, like, I aren't really too sure. I mean, I think I probably will. Like, basically I'll live stream the whole thing, and as for recording, I'll record the whole thing, but when we're just, like, grinding out for gear and levels and gold and all that sort of stuff, I think, you know, like, I won't bother playing that, because that'd just be a couple hours of seeing us do the exact same thing over and over and over again. And, you know, like, obviously no one wants to watch that, so, I mean, you know. I mean, for the one or two people that do want to watch it, it'll be live streamed, so... You know, like, you can watch it that way. But, uh, anyway, yeah, like, how long's this video been going on for? Uh, 38 minutes. Okay, yeah, uh, that's not bad. And, you know, like, I've just got to keep an eye on it, because, unfortunately, um, as you guys know, parts 1 to 8 that I first did ended up having no game sound, because my recording, like, kind of messed up, and I have no idea why, but because I'd already recorded, like, the next hour or so, I couldn't really go back and redo it to get the game sound, because then that'd have threw the whole commentary out of whack, and, you know, that'd have been, like, the first 12 or so parts that, well, the first eight parts would have been, like, one commentary, and then from 8 onwards, it'd have been really different, so obviously I couldn't really do that, I just had to unfortunately go with it, I had to go with no sound for the first 8 parts, so, you know, like, there is that, but, um, another thing that I want to do with these hourly sessions kind of thing is, in that hour, you know, like, it basically, after I do the hour, you know, like, I can check it out, make sure there's no problems with the recording or anything like that. If there is, then I can safely go back and redo it, because I don't have to worry about, like, messing up future videos. But, you know, like, um, yeah, it's basically just like that, really. Like, I don't want to mess up future videos, so if there's, like, if I do them in hourly segments, then I can pretty much, like, stay on control that way. And plus, after the hour, you know, when I start recording, then I can have a little break, go to the toilet, have something to eat, and then, like, resume and all that, so, you know, like, I'm not going to disappear for five minutes during, like, while I'm actually recording, and then when it comes to rendering, I completely forgot I disappeared and end up leaving the whole five minutes of me being AFK in the video, like I unfortunately did once, and, uh, 
Well, that got pointed out quite a lot to me. Luckily enough though, that wasn't on this channel, that was on an, uh, my old channel. And it was quite an old video. I think it was actually... You know, I think it was actually the 